Today we're going to discuss about Solis communication hardware or accessories such as their Wi-Fi stick. Along the years, they've released a lot of Wi-Fi stick, so it's better to know what are those old ones and the new ones. So recently, they just released a new one. I'm going to show them all what are their difference. So first, this is their first Wi-Fi stick. As you can see, it has a Ginlong Technologies mark into it and doesn't have any Wi-Fi antenna. So these are, uh, let's see, first generation that they made on the Wi-Fi. And if you have this, this one cannot upgrade your inverter in case that you want to, in case the firmware is needs to update remotely. So this one you can. Second, they release this. Same thing, but now it has an external antenna. So you can use this and this can also upgrade now your inverter. So firmware, you can update the firmware in this and also its inverter attached to it. This one you can't. So make sure when you buy one, you have to say that buy the latest. Second, or third, I would say, is the latest. This is now their S3 Wi-Fi stick. So as you can see, judging from the other one, now it has markings on it where you can see that uh, there's a comb and there's a power and reference so, so let, uh, let's move it closer so that we're able to see so s3 model so you can see that and it has already a reset button so judging from the two oops so as you can see, if you're going to match them, so it's really, this one is really improved compared to the old one. Because all you have to do is you can reset because this were mostly users request that what if I want to reset my Wi-Fi. Markings is also now different, it's black. So while this one is the one you're going to tighten the Wi-Fi so I greatly improved because this one is big so greatly improvement on the previous version third is not a Wi-Fi but this is a Wi-Fi stick so this is used to upgrade update the firmware locally if not possible for a remote so as you can see they are both the same both in build but the difference is it has a six pin and a usb for the firmware this is for the technical purposes so distributors have this i uh, just borrow this one because i uh, need to update my meter and the last one is there Wi-Fi box so it's a Wi-Fi kit it has both LAN Ethernet and it connects to your EPM Wi-Fi and LAN so which is which this one is the latest one S3 you can now directly connect this to EPM this one is not uh, it's not advisable because this one can only see one inverter this one 10 inverters Wi-Fi box is also 10 inverters so these two can accommodate 10 grid time inverters regardless whether it's in parallel or not but 
I'm showing you how to how the wiring is done on this using this Wi-Fi and using the Wi-Fi box. Wi-Fi box comes with power supply. See? So the next time you buy a Wi-Fi stick or communication cable, be sure to know what you are buying. S3's latest, good for APM, Wi-Fi box, or Wi-Fi kit is also good for APM. These two can't be used for APM purposes. This one is for upgrade locally. Thumbs up.